This is another video that was just on the home page. Clicked on the thumbnail and downloaded the thumbnail. Now watch when I brought it into design, chose realistic for the style. You don't even have to type in the prompt. You can click on auto prompt and it's going to generate the prompt for you based off the image that you uploaded. Now over here on structure match 0.6, I bumped it up. I chose color match and face match. And as you could see, the results are pretty crazy. Look right here. All of these images are just ones that it just generated based off the thumbnail that I uploaded. This is like Photoshop on steroids, but for beginners. Guys, this is a thumbnail from YouTube. As you can see right here, here's the video that's from this guy, Wade McMaster. And I just took this thumbnail and I downloaded it and I brought it over to this AI tool. It's called Design. Now I'm going to walk you through every step how to do this. And I'm going to show you all the different features on this tool design. But first, I just wanted to show you how cool this tool is. You could literally copy some well performing thumbnails. If you have trouble coming up with ideas for thumbnails, look at this. When I uploaded this thumbnail to this tool and I click generate, look at these different styles that it gave me. Up here, you could see all the different styles. So I chose an apocalyptic horror style, but you can choose something to make it even more similar to the thumbnail that you uploaded. So right here, I could have chose realistic or I could have just chose no style if I wanted to emulate the thumbnail even more. And also you'll see these other options, style, intensity, structure, match, color, match, face, match. Now, as you can see, I didn't choose any of these for this first image that I uploaded because I just wanted to see how well this tool performs without messing with any of the settings. And as you could clearly see, it's extremely similar to the thumbnail that I uploaded. It even has the text right there, beginner workshop, just like this one. It has a very similar man to the right. It's amazing how similar this thumbnail looks. Okay. And it did great without even messing with any of these parameters. Now let's show you one more right here. This is another video that was just on the home page so i clicked on it and i clicked on the thumbnail and downloaded the thumbnail now watch when i brought it into design i want to show you i chose realistic for the style and then right here where it says the prompt you don't even have to type in the prompt you can click on auto prompt and it's going to generate the prompt for you based off the image that you uploaded now over here on structure match i moved it up just a little bit 0.6 i bumped it up i chose color match and face match and as you could see the results are pretty crazy look right here all of these images are just ones that it just generated based off the thumbnail that I uploaded and it's extremely similar. You could see that the face match does an amazing job. It looks like that guy right there. That all of these look exactly like this guy right here. And you could see the image is very, very similar to the thumbnail that I uploaded. So this AI is really, really cool. It's going to be able to give you some thumbnails that are already performing well. If you have trouble creating thumbnails, you could do this and then you can face swap because this also has a face swapper so you could face swap in your face and create a thumbnail just like that and you can also edit as well so when you're on one of your images you could come up here to the top and click on text and you can add in text or you could choose the brush tool if you need to draw on here or create something else that you want to add on to their thumbnail of course you could do this with any type of image just me being me i love youtube and i'm always been using different ai tools for my videos so i just wanted to test it out on thumbnails right now but there are so many different features on this website. This website is amazing. There's also an image to video, but let me just walk you through the process of how you can do this. If you want to copy these thumbnails or you want to create some similar type thumbnails, it can really perform well for your videos and get you some more views. So if I come up here, this is another tool where I find video outliers and I typed in AI text to image and my video happened to be the second one that popped up right here. So I figured why not just go ahead and use my video to try and copy the thumbnail so i'm just gonna go ahead and save this thumbnail right here all right okay great now that i have my thumbnail saved we're gonna come back over here to design and let's just go ahead and start from the beginning all right so now this is the home screen when you come into design this is what you will see all right and as you can see there are so many different features this tool is actually amazing i will definitely be using this so much in the future you have image to image text to image image to video which is a brand 
brand new feature. And then, like I said, you also have the face swapper tool. So if you create these thumbnails, you could just go ahead and swap your face in there and boom, now you have a high quality thumbnail with your face on there. So it's personalized and it's going to work amazing. You have your expand feature. It's basically generative fill. So you can create bigger images. If you have maybe a one by one ratio image, like a square, you could turn it into a widescreen image without distorting or warping your image. It's just going to fill in that area with an AI generated image. Let's get started real quick. We're going to come over here to image to image. That's what you want to choose if you are trying to recreate these thumbnails in a very simple manner. So I'm going to click on image to image. And now it's going to bring up this screen right here. Now what I'm going to do is click right here in the middle where it says replace with your image. I'll click that and then I'm just going to click on copy three because that's what I just saved, which is my thumbnail. Now let me just zoom out a little bit so you guys can see the whole thumbnail. There you go. So that's my thumbnail right there. Let's see how good of a copy or a duplicate that we can make for my own thumbnail. So let's go ahead and click on, I'm going to choose realistic because I feel like if I click on realistic, it's just going to do good good at copying the exact image that's already here and it's not going to add on any different styles so as you can see there's tons of different styles if you want to turn it into like an anime vibe or you could turn it into like a pulp vibrance this is more of like a cartoon type of vibe so many different options for you to choose from let's just stick with realistic all right for right now and as i said before if you don't feel like describing the image that you just uploaded no problem click right here let's go ahead and click this auto prompt and now very quickly it's gonna upload a prompt just based off of our image so it's created a whole prompt for us and we didn't have to write anything now for structure match i want to go ahead and bump it up a little bit i'm gonna move it up to 0.6 i think 0.6 is pretty good now it shows you a suggested range it doesn't want you to really go outside of that range so i'll just stay in there in the suggested range color match i'm gonna go ahead and turn color match on and for this one i kind of want to switch up the face right I I don't want to copy the face exactly for this one so i think i'm going to go ahead and try it without the face match on for this one so let's go ahead and generate this our images are done generating so let's check them out real quick and as you could see the image that we started with which was my thumbnail right here it's a little bit cartoony i generated this with ai and you could tell that by just looking at this guy it looks somewhat realistic but you could tell that he's ai now here this looks a lot more realistic as a matter of fact Fact, I would have trouble picking that out as AI. That looks like a real genuine person. And now in the background, I do notice that I used a video editing timeline in the background. This one is a slightly different. It looks like there's some apps and stuff on a screen, but not quite a video editing timeline, but it could be. It looks very similar. Yeah. So as you could see, it's got the apps, the, the icon of the apps up here, and it's just done a really, really good job recreating that thumbnail that I used and it's changed up the the person right here it's changed up the color of the coffee mug so I mean I could go ahead and use this thumbnail just as is all I would have to do is download it just like that for the free trial if you're on a free trial you could just click JPEG and download that for free just like that now you will have to upgrade if you want to download as a PNG or an SVG file but they do have a free trial as well so you can use that for seven days for free now here we have layer tool as well so if you want to add on text you can add text on to a separate layer as you can see right here so if you wanted to add something and you can also change the font up here so let's just say maybe you wanted to sort of copy the font that's already on the thumbnail or you wanted to replace that text but you want to do something similar find something similar find a similar font if you wanted to create something new or add something on to that thumbnail just like that and then let's say maybe you wanted to remove that text you don't like what you did just come over here to the layer tab and click on those three buttons and then just click delete so as you can see guys this is just one of many of the amazing features on this website they have an ai portrait filter they have a change clothes tool so if you're like a uh, clothing brand company you can use one model and just change every outfit on there and save you a ton of money coloring book generators ai photo filters 2d character sheet which is really cool so you can create consistent 
instant characters. There's like an unlimited amount of tools for the image generation, video generation, and text to image and image to image. This is like Photoshop on steroids, but for beginners. That's how I would describe this tool. This tool can do it all. I want you guys to check it out and you will be extremely impressed. Go ahead and check out Design AI and I guarantee you, you're going to be happy you did it. Like I said, it's Photoshop for beginners, but on steroids. Go check it out.